All right, thanks for watching, and let's solve a very neat problem from the Berkeley Math Tournament. Namely, let's find the sum of all positive integers n for which this equation, x plus n over x to the n equals 2 to the 20, has a real solution x. So for some n, this has no solution. For others, this has a solution, and we want to find a sum of all possible values. And the way you do this is first you put this on a common denominator to get x squared plus n over x to the n equals 2 to the 20. And then you want to take nth root. So if n is even, we have plus minus. If n is odd, we just have plus. You will see in the end, this sign doesn't matter. So with abuse of notation a little bit, we'll just write this as x squared plus n over x is plus minus 2 to the 20 over n. With the understanding that this is sometimes plus. And then what you can do, you can multiply by x to then get the following, x squared plus n equals plus or minus ish, yeah, 2 to the 20 over n times x. And then what we get is a quadratic formula or like a quadratic equation, x squared minus plus 2 to the, to the 20 over n x plus n equals n. And the question is really, when does this have a real solution? Now, if you remember from quadratic equations, if the discriminant is positive, you have two real solutions. If it's zero, you have one real solution. If it's negative, you have complex solution. So in other words, this has real solutions. Solutions, if and only if the discriminant is greater or equal to zero. And by the way, if you remember the proof of Cauchy-Schwarz, it goes a similar way. Uh, in particular, there is a video of it covering it that I've done. It's really, really cool. I'm not kidding. All right, so all we need to do is to find the discriminant. So minus plus 2 to the 20 over n squared. So b squared minus 4ac, so 4 times 1 times n is greater or equal to 0. And that's why I said this plus minus sign doesn't matter because we square it. And so we get 2 to the 40 over n minus 4n is greater or equal to 0. And therefore, 4n is less than or equal to 2 to the 40 over n. Now, um, it looks like it's an equation that's sort of impossible to solve, but it turns out it's not because here's a cool trick. So 40 is 160 over 4. So this is 2 to the 160 over 4n. And the reason is we have 4n on the left hand side and now 4n on the right hand side. And then what we can do, we can raise this to the 4nth power. So now what we get, raise it to the 4nth power and you get 4n to the 4n is less or equal to 2 to the 160. And again, so far it looks like an equation that's impossible to solve, but really the structure of those numbers is very important here because 2 to the 160 becomes 2 to the 5th, 2 to the 32, and that's just 32 to the 30. So you see, 4n to the 4n is less or equal to 32 to the 32, but now because the function x to the x is strictly increasing, what this really implies is that 4n has to be less than or equal to 32, and so n has to be less than or equal to 8. 
In, in fact, if you notice, all the steps are reversible. So really all the values of n that work are n equals one, two, up to eight. And so the answer is just the sum of integers up to eight. Oh yeah, she ate. And then what we get is by Gauss's formula, that's eight times nine over two, and that's four times nine, and I believe that's 36. Again, what an incredibly cute problem. I especially like this because of the cauchy schwarz trick and also really the beautiful structure of the numbers at the end. All right, if you like this and want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.